Even though this is Charles's law, I like to use a linear ideal gas law equation of P1V1N2T2 equals P2V2N1T1. This allows me to go ahead and eliminate constants like pressure and number of moles, and then focus on volume and temperature. I then go ahead and rearrange the equation to solve for the missing variable, in this case temperature. When I solve, it will come out in Kelvin, and if I need to convert to Celsius, I'll do that at the end. So, 47,700 milliliters times the adjusted temperature of 254.92 degrees Celsius divided by 39.03 liters. Since liters and milliliters don't cancel out immediately, I will need to convert. Once I do that, I'll go ahead and multiply across the top, divide by the product of the bottom, get 645.37 Kelvin. I want Celsius. So I'll go ahead and take that value, subtract 273.15, and it will give me the Celsius temperature of 372.22 degrees Celsius.